Um, so I felt the, word, the way that we get this off the ground is to have somebody help lift this up, right, across the discipline. So in a small organization, that may be the CEO. Like, if it's not you, yeah. this could be a five person. And I've said this before, like, an AI council, marketing council could be two people to start. Like, it doesn't matter. Someone just has to raise their hand and initiate the process, and whether it's a weekly meeting or demos or whatever it is. But if you're in a bigger enterprise, what I've been learning, having never been in a massive enterprise, is you really need someone on high mm -hmm. who is going to run interference when needed or support to get whatever budgets you need or whatever exactly. permission for human resources, things like that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But I, I wanted to keep it grassroots and the people who were on the ground gonna do the work passionate about it. So I was really, really passionate too as it grew to say, we don't need VPs coming in to run this. Like, I, we, let's have this be an opportunity to give people visibility. Because again, Myla's only two years into her career or so right? at that point, right? Exactly. So, okay. Yeah, and she's one of our leaders. So, um, so then it was, well, I don't know if exactly which VP will be your executive sponsor. So one of the lessons I think you'll, you may ask me later is like, what did you learn? We kind of sat for two months. Now we didn't sit on our laurels, but we, um, we could have gone faster um, while we were waiting for that. So what we did do in those two months though, until our CMO was our executive sponsor, which I could talk about, is um, we did come up with our generative AI guidelines. So we call them our guidelines for using gen AI tools for writing, something like that. Gen AI writing tools, you get the gist.